Undefeated WBC lightweight champion Shakur Stevenson has announced his retirement from professional boxing at just 26 years old. In a tweet that has stunned fans across the sport, Stevenson stated, I'm officially retiring from the sport of boxing. I'll be in the gym forever perfecting my craft and helping the next generation become great and chase their dreams, but I ain't messing with this weak boxing game. This totally unexpected news has ignited a firestorm of speculation among boxing experts and observers as to why one of the top young talents in the sport is hanging up the gloves in his prime. Stevenson provided no explanation for the retirement in his tweet, leaving many questions unanswered. Just last month, Stevenson successfully defended his first world title with a unanimous decision victory over Dominican veteran Edwin de los Santos. That win ran his undefeated record to 21. Zero with 10 knockouts, truly establishing him as a rising force at lightweight. So why would a fighter with a perfect record who just won his first world title suddenly retire at such a young age? We can only speculate at this point. Some have pointed to Stevenson's frustration with not being able to secure big fights against the top names at lightweight. He has made it clear over the past year that he wanted to take on the elite fighters in the division like Vasily Lomachenko, Emmanuel Navarrete, or his old amateur rival Devin Haney. But for one reason or another, those fights failed to materialize. It's possible that Stevenson felt stalled in his career progression without the chance to test himself against boxing's best lightweights. Rather than keep facing lower-tier opponents, he may have felt retirement was his best path forward. Shakur has always been a guy who has been pretty confident about his in-ring abilities and has this belief that he can take on and smoke any top fighter in the world right now or even in the past. As he once mentioned in an interview that he would have smoked Manny Pacquiao in his prime. Here's what he said. If you were to fight Pacquiao in his prime, how would that go? I think I would smoke Pacquiao. Considering how much he loves fighting elite boxers and strengthen his legacy, it's quite understandable why he got so frustrated that he decided to retire so early in his career. There are also fans who think that the risk-reward calculation changed for Stevenson after seeing Lomachenko and Navarrete opt to go different directions rather than give him the fights he wanted. Lomachenko decided to pursue a vacant lightweight belt against George Cambosos Jr., while Navarrete moved up to take on Denis Berinchik for the vacant WBO title at 135 pounds. After both fighters rebuffed his attempts to set up those matches, perhaps Stevenson felt the boxing politics were stacked against him moving forward. Rather than keep banging his head against the wall trying to land the big one, retirement may have seemed a better option than letting his prime years go to waste. Some fans on social media pointed to Stevenson's underwhelming performance against the unheralded De Los Santos in his last fight as a potential reason too. Despite winning a comfortable decision, Stevenson received heavy criticism for appearing overly cautious, using excessive movement and refusing to plant to trade power shots. With few big names at lightweight willing to face him next, there was speculation that Stevenson would have to take on another fringe contender, like unbeaten power puncher Raymond Muratala or the dangerous Zaur Abdulayev. Against heavy-handed opponents like them, Stevenson may have needed to box more aggressively to hold them off. If he felt unwilling or unable to modify his safety-first style, retirement rather than risk getting exposed again might be the wiser move. There is also the chance that Stevenson is using this retirement announcement primarily as a power move perhaps trying to force the hands of fighters like Lomachenko, Navarrete, and Haney to agree to face him next. By removing himself as a potential next opponent and title defense for those champions, he takes away leverage and negotiating power. It's similar to how Teofimo Lopez recently fake retired for 48 hours in hopes of getting a better offer to fight Devin Haney. Now that Stevenson is retired, those top lightweights can't use him as a bargaining chip for bargaining for bigger fights or better purses. It forces them to decide if they want to fight him now on his terms or let him walk away. Of course, there is also the possibility that Stevenson is being completely genuine with his retirement for reasons unrelated to his boxing career. Whether frustration with fame, desire to spend more time with family, outside business ventures, or simply feeling financially secure enough to leave boxing behind. Whatever Stevenson's true motives, this retirement announcement certainly throws the entire lightweight division into chaos. He leaves with an undefeated record and a world title, which almost always leads to speculation that a comeback could happen down the road. 
Now, new details have emerged revealing Stevenson's surprising retirement was primarily driven by frustrations over not securing the massive fight he desperately wanted against WBO junior lightweight title holder Emmanuel Navarrete. Appearing on ProBox TV, respected boxing analyst Chris Algieri broke the news that Stevenson's failure to land the Navarrete clash is what ultimately pushed him into making the rash retirement decision after grabbing his phone in anger to vent. He's looking for every situation he can get to get the best fight, to get the biggest fight, and he's not able to get it, he's not able to acquire it. So a young fighter like this gets frustrated. While Algieri doesn't believe Stevenson will stay retired in the true sense long term, he says this situation shone a light on the mental toll the business side of boxing took on one of the sport's young stars. After reaching the pinnacle of the sport at just 26 by capturing a world title with a perfect professional record, Stevenson felt stalled out and bitter he couldn't get the biggest names at lightweight to face him. The Navarrete fight represented a chance to take his already impressive resume to the next level. But when that match collapsed, all the frustrations that had been bubbling below the surface came bursting out on social media for all to see. Algieri specifically pointed to Stevenson's underwhelming November title defense against Dominican veteran Edwin de los Santos as the catalyst that changed perceptions about him overnight. Whereas he came into that fight rated as a top pound-for-pound -pound talent, his refusal to plant and trade power shots led to heavy fan criticism for running excessively. Instead of showing the offensive firepower expected from an elite fighter, he fought cautiously to avoid any risk. That safety-first performance severely damaged his popularity and negotiating leverage for bigger fights. It reduced fan excitement and appetite to see him back in action. So when Navarrete decided to pass up a fight with him to instead pursue a vacant belt at lightweight, it meant Stevenson would likely have to face another fringe contender rather than redeem himself in a marquee matchup. While reiterating he doesn't expect the retirement to stick long term, Algieri advised Stevenson needs to have patience because the big fights he craves will materialize down the road. It's just the timing and boxing politics aren't aligned right now. Navarrete and Vasily Lomachenko remain possible future dance partners if they win their upcoming bouts. But Stevenson sabotaged his negotiating position by sulking rather than biding his time against a decent foe before reopening talks. By announcing his retirement in a snap moment of anger, Shakur gave up all leverage for bargaining over the terms or purse split for fights with Navarrete or the Lomachenko versus George. George Camboso's junior winner. They lose the incentive to face him now that he pulled himself out of their pool of potential opponents. It reduces some of the shine on his unbeaten record if he's not viewed as active. While Algieri feels for the frustrations boiling over that led to his tweet, he said Stevenson needs more patience and perspective to realize the big opportunities are still ahead of him in the next 12, 18 months. Retirement can always happen for real down the line if things don't open up. But for now, removing himself as an option only hurts his negotiating power rather than speeding the process of getting the fights he wants most. His decision struck many as immature and short-sighted. Patience and playing the game right could still land him his dream clashes, but letting raw emotions dictate major career decisions via social media only sets him back rather than advancing his goals. Boxing has lost one of its fastest rising young talents and most athletic stars. The fans eagerly awaiting his fights against the best names at lightweight are left disappointed and incredulous at this shocking news. While we wish Shakur Stevenson all the best in his future endeavors outside the ring, there is no doubt this retirement made far earlier than expected deals the 135-pound weight class a massive blow. Boxing is simply less interesting today without one of its emerging crossover superstars so abruptly leaving the sport. We'll keep monitoring this unfolding story closely and provide updates if Stevenson shares any further details on what motivated his surprise retirement. Be sure to subscribe to Boxing News Daily to get the latest information as soon as more news or reactions to Shakur Stevenson hanging up the gloves become available. For now, though, all we can say is congratulations to Shakur on a terrific pro career capped off by winning multiple world titles in two weight divisions by age 26. Even if he never steps in the ring again, he accomplished enough in seven years to leave a significant footprint on the sport he's now seemingly walking away from far earlier than anyone could have anticipated.